If you want to calculate the amount of an element that's in a compound, um, the calculation is done usually using the mass fraction. Um, and what we can say is if we have a, uh, a sample of a compound over here, let's suppose it's calcium carbonate or it can be any other compound that you want, the mass of any given element in that sample will be equal to the mass of the sample times the mass fraction of the element. Okay, so this is a way to use mass fraction information to calculate how much gold there might be in a sample of gold ore, for example. All right, um, so um, if we look at this and it's the mass of the compound in the sample times this ratio, which is the mass fraction, the mass of the element in the compound times the mass of the compound. Later on, we'll see how to figure that out from the formula. For the time being, we use empirical information that we get in the laboratory to, to um, determine this. So I want to do an example for you to show you how to use this expression to calculate um, the amount of an element that's present in a compound. Uh, and the example I want to use is galena. Galena is a, an, a mineral, actually, that consists of lead and sulfur, okay? And in the laboratory, a 1.27 gram sample of galena, which is the mass of the galena compound, is found to contain 1.1 gram of lead, okay? How many grams of sulfur are present in one kilogram of galena? Okay, so we're asking for the mass of the element sulfur that's in a sample of one kilogram of galena. So this is the mass of the compound in the sample. And what we need to know is the mass of sulfur in 1.27 grams of galena. We have, let me abbreviate galena as G, we have 1.27 grams of galena and it is made up of 1.10 grams of lead plus some number of grams of sulfur. And as you can see, the only things that are present in galena are lead and sulfur. So to figure out the mass of the sulfur, um, all we have to do is take the difference. The mass of sulfur will be equal to the mass of galena minus the mass of the lead. And that's 1.27 minus 1.10, and so uh, these are grams. So that's 0 0.17 grams of sulfur. So now we're ready to use the equation. 0 0.17 grams in sulfur is the amount of sulfur present in 1.27 grams of the compound. Okay, so now we're gonna go, um, we're gonna go ahead and use the equation, but is everybody clear on how I got the 0.17? All right, you can do that when there's only two things there and you have the mass of one of them. So um, the, what we want is the mass of sulfur present in one kilogram of galena. So uh, we have one um, kilogram of galena, uh, sorry, make this a small g, one kilogram of g. Now we need to convert that to grams because the answer needs to be in grams of sulfur. So from chapter one, um, or your previous experiment, experience, I should say, uh, you should know that one kilogram is 1,000 grams. So 1,000 grams of galena is equivalent to one kilogram of galena. So the kilograms will go away. Uh, now we need to multiply uh, by the um, uh, mass fraction here, which is 0 0.17 grams of sulfur over 1.27 grams of galena. Okay, this is the mass fraction. This is this part of it right here, given to us um, uh, at least indirectly in the, uh, in the problem. So at this point then grams of galena will go away and our answer will be grams of sulfur and when I did this I got 134 grams.